around 9.30 p.m. on June 24, 1995. Lim Rong, a seven years old girl, went missing after telling her mother, Ang Gun Lei, who was a drink store owner at a coffee shop, that she was going to meet a friend of her father's. However, Xiao Rong did not return by 11 p.m. and Madam Ang went searching for her, but to no avail. The following day, Madam Ang lodged a missing persons report. Sadly, Xiao Rong's body was found in a drain near a sewage tank at Jalan Woodbridge, nearly 8 kilometers away from her home. Further police investigations showed that she was raped and then murdered. It should be noted that Lim Shaorong, according to her mother, does not normally leave the store except to go to the playground or buy sweets. She also doesn't know how to take the taxi or the bus by herself. So, unless she walked the 8 kilometers from her home to Jalan Woodbridge, which is not very possible, she must have had a mode of transportation, or at least the person who committed that grievous crime had a mode of transportation. For example, a car or a van. The van is more of like a cliché movie kind of vehicle for kidnapping. However, to give things a little twist, Madam Ang found a note in Xiao Rong's waist pouch which she had left behind at the store. The note had a pager number and also a Chinese character at the bottom, Di, which means little brother in English. Now, Xiao Rong only has a younger sister. So, who in the world is this little brother. To make things even stranger, Madam Ang found the date when Xiao Rong went missing, 24th June 1995, written on her bedroom wall. As such, it can be concluded that the person who committed this crime was someone Xiao Rong knew. Unfortunately, for this poor innocent girl, she didn't know that looks can be deceiving or she wouldn't have followed that person. To end off, I would like to share that I have met Madam Am on 4 September 2021, which is quite recent and I have also patronized her drink store. After seeing her, I feel that she seems rather solemn and depressed and there is like this air of melancholy that hangs over her. She must still be feeling guilty about what had happened and I want her to know that what happened wasn't her fault. As such, I sincerely hope that if anyone remembers anything about that fateful day, which is called June 24, 1995, please contact Crime Library Singapore. I am Keen, Ambassador for CLS. Thank you. <laughs>